This video is about gradients. Gradients measure how steep a slope is. Um, for example, uh, in real life, a bus can only turn a corner at a certain gradient, otherwise it will topple over. So we would need to work out what the gradient of the slope was, this slope here. And how we do that it was, is we use the formula for gradient. Gradient uh, m equals up over along. So we would measure how far up the bus can go and we would measure how far along the bus can go and then we would um, use this formula to work out what the gradient can be before the bus topples. If we wanted to work out the gradient of this line, what we would need to do is pick two points. So for example this point here and this point here and make a triangle. And then we just count up how many boxes we've got on each side. So on the bottom here we've got one, two, three, four, five little boxes. So if we put a five in there and going up the way there's 15 little boxes. So that means the gradient of this line is up over along. The up is 15 and the along is 5. So 15 over 5 can be simplified to just uh, 3 over 1, which is really just 3. So the gradient of this line is 3. It doesn't matter which two points you picked. If I had, if I had instead picked this point down here and this point up here and drawn the triangle in here, we'd have got the same thing. We've got 15 squares up the way and 5 along. Or if I'd picked this bottom point and this point up here and drawn in the triangle, I would have got 10 along the bottom and then I would have had 30 up the side. And 30 over 10 is just the same as 3 over 1. So it doesn't matter which two points you pick, the gradient will always be the same. If a line's going downhill, like this purple line, we work out the gradient the same way, but downhill lines have a negative gradient. So if I was working out the gradient of this line, if I picked that point and that point, drew in a little triangle and said that's 5 and that's 5, the gradient of this line would be uh, 5 over 5, which is actually one whole. However, you would have to make sure and put a minus in front of it because it's a minus gradient, because it's downhill. The green line, the vertical line, if we worked out the gradient of it, if we picked two points, say this point and this point, we can't draw in a triangle, so that's a bit of a problem. This line isn't going along at all, it's only going up. So if we were going to work out that gradient, the up part would be 5, say. The along part will always be 0. If you type 5 divided by 0 in a calculator, you get an error message. And so we say that a vertical line has an undefined gradient because we can't work it out. So a vertical line is undefined. And the horizontal line, which is the blue one, if we do the same thing to it, well, it's going to be the other way round. The along part, and this between my two points I've picked is 10, but the up part is always going to be 0. So when we do up over along, we're always going to get 0 over whatever number we've uh, picked between the points. If you type 0 over 10 in your calculator, you get the answer 0. So horizontal lines have a 0 gradient.